Hello, I'm Odin, and this time, I'm actually not gonna build anything, but I am gonna put something together that's really big. How about a full-sized 30-year-old alien queen replica? She's 14 feet tall and probably pulled from the movie molds. So this kind of started at Silicon Valley Comic Con when I saw a statue of the original alien standing there at the Legion M booth. Well, I got to talking to a friend and to the guys at Legion M and it turns out that they have a documentary called Memory, The Origins of Alien. It's all about the making of the movie from H.R. Giger's point of view, which is actually, it's a really good documentary. So for a fun way to promote it, they decided that it would be great to set up something really big at this year's LA Comic Con. What they have is a full-size alien queen. It's from the movie Aliens. Yeah, that's not the one that the movie Memory is about, but come on, it's related. What they wanted my help with was that this queen had just been sitting in storage in a condo and nobody knew how it went back together or even how she stood up. And, and you want me to put it together? Heck yeah, I want to build the alien queen. The day before the con, we go to the condo to break her free of her paper-wrapped and cable-type bondage that she's been sitting in for years. Uh, by the way, the guy who is collecting this has all this alien stuff, and he had some great items, like a quarter-scale queen maquette, an engineer bust, a space jockey miniature, an alien slot machine. I mean, the place was just packed. The panels that she's leaning on, those are actual set pieces from Alien Resurrection. After the extraction, we load her up and haul the queen to the LA Convention Center. I don't have a lot of pictures of building her at the center because I completely misunderstood what my time frame was, so I didn't get any footage of the assembly at the con. But there were a few repairs that I did right away, like fixing the tendon on her jaw, which was torn, and that was one of the few silicone parts that she had. She was made in the early 90s and is mostly foam latex on a steel tube skeleton. Now in her past, someone had added some green blood to cover up some of her damaged areas, which did help. But she had more than just skin deep problems. So to fix her mouth quick, I did two things. I glued the tendon in place with some silicone sealer and then stitched it to hold it there while it dried. Actually, the stitches are still there because there's no reason to remove them. I also patched her jaw because at some point her jaw was opened a little extra and it came loose on the side where the tendon broke. Now I've seen aliens plenty of times, so it's a little surreal to stand on a ladder and stick my hand down her throat. Trust me, it's interesting being an alien dentist on a ladder. Then she spent the rest of the con weekend just hanging out with her kids and taking pictures with lots of new friends. Oh, and I love this. One of the Legion M guys had a really good idea to bring stuff for people to hold while they got their picture taken with the queen. A repainted Nerf light gun, the face hugger, a plush chest burster, and the termite chainsaw from Mandy. Would you use a chainsaw against an alien with acid for blood? When I use my little chainsaw trimmer at home, I get wood chips all over me, down inside my shirt, in my shoes. I mean, and the trees, they're just standing there. It's not fighting an alien queen that doesn't want to get hit with a chainsaw. Well, okay, she's actually rubber and didn't move either. But the idea is it's an alien queen that doesn't want to get hit with a chainsaw and acid blood's gonna go everywhere. Yeah, no, that's not what I want to do at all. But seriously though, the, the toys that were brought to pose with, they were a lot of fun. But the con ends, so now what? She needs a new home. So we packed her up and drove her about two hours out to a warehouse where we put her back together. Basically, she's in big pieces, arms, legs, torso, tail, and her big old head. That's about six feet long. She's supposed to have back spikes too. Uh, hopefully they're still buried in the condo somewhere. She has a steel tube skeleton that holds her up. And at some point in the past, the steel plates that were on her feet were removed because that's what she's supposed to stand on. So we had set up a speed rail field goal that she could hang from because she just can't stand on her own. I attached the chains to her steel shoulders right where the arms mount. That's the most solid connection that I could get. Basically, we just hung her torso off the crossbar. And this time when we secured the chains, they were as short as we could get them. Because on the con floor, we kept her lower so her face would be a better height for pictures with people and it just felt safer having her lower. But here, we wanted her standing up full height. We tried putting her head on first and then attach the legs and scoot the crossbar up to get her to stand. But the weight was just too much to do this by hand and just on ladders, so off with her head. We get the torso up the rails as far as we can and then attach her arm. 
The chains have to come off so the steel rod in her leftist arm can fit in the tube. The alien queen has two sets of arms, if you didn't know. To get her head back on, we grabbed her foot and lifted it up to tilt her body lower so we can get her neck lower, and then her head can just drop in place. The rest of this is just so much easier because the tail was attached next, and then I put the left leg in place, which is held in with a couple of screws. Then the right arm, which slips in. This one we don't need to remove the chain to attach. Her two chest arms just pierce her like a big pin cushion. Not the most regal of attachments, but it works. And when she's done, we bring in the rest of the family. Her eggs, a face hugger, this one's the NECA toy, and that original alien I saw at Silicon Valley Comic Con. He gets to hang out with her too. It was quite the adventure putting her together that weekend and watching the crowds of people interact with her and enjoy getting pictures taken with her. I just want to say thank you to Legion M for letting me come to your booth and build crazy stuff in the corner. And also thank you guys for Memory, The Origins of Alien, because without that documentary, I wouldn't have gotten a chance to play with the alien queen. And that was, don't get me wrong, it's a giant rubber monster. Now, Memory, Origins of Alien is actually out on Blu-ray. And, and this sounds like a sales pitch, and it kind of is, but this isn't a sponsored video at all. I mean, I got to play with the Queen, but that's the end of it. There's nothing else going on for me. However, if you want to click the link that I got down here, my friend who's actually got the warehouse where the Queen is, he's the one that's going to be fulfilling all the orders. And he's got a special commemorative pin that you can only get through his link, and he'll ship those things out to you, and it's coming pretty much directly from her. Now for the rest of this video, let's just look at more pictures of people enjoying the Queen at the con. Thanks for watching.